So, hello guys, and welcome to this video. Today I'm here to present you another filter. Uh, it's been a while, I think. It must have been over a month at least since I did another filter, and yeah. I thought it would be good to, well, put another one here. So yeah. Uh, actually, I wrote this one a couple of weeks ago, but because of the slams turn 7 search and April Fools, I wanted to get that done first, and now... And I also have other ideas, don't worry, but I thought it would be good to put another filter right here around this time, so yeah, here I am again. Uh, this one was suggested by Daniel Keaton. Uh, Keaton, sorry, mispronounced uh, his name, also known as Red Eyes Master. Uh, I will link to his Twitter down below in the description because he's not that active on YouTube, I think. Or, well, he probably is, but he just doesn't upload, so yeah. Um, or, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, check out his Twitter in case you're interested. Uh, and I also had a lot of, well, the main, uh, let's say, documentation on the subject, which is going to be about armor sense, I used was actually a post made by Uzbul on a specific bug uh, report on Majira. And I will link to that report down in the below in the description, and you can look up Uzbul and then you can read his post. Uh, so yeah, that's the credit for this one, I guess. Uh, apart from that, yeah, let's get into it. Um, there's this thing with armor stands in uh, the normal way they work. Let's go to survival, so I don't have to... Oh, uh, well, you don't have to do some stuff. Um, the normal armor stands, you can just put stuff in slots like this. Take it out. You can also uh, switch some stuff. Like, you can put this in here, then this, and switch it, and take it back out. Uh, and you can do that, or that. You can do a lot of stuff normally, but often you don't want to do that. Uh, have people do that because you're doing armor sense for something else, like tracking, and or just as decoration, and you don't want in players to interact with them. So, uh, for that purpose, Mojang created this tag. Uh, it's the disabled slots tag, it's an integer tag, and it's bit field. Which basically means it's a compact way to store a series of booleans inside of a uh, an integer, uh, a 32-bit integer in this case. Uh, I won't go into the details behind it. If you want to do that, just look up uh, on the chunk format page. I uh, looked up on the chunk format page. It's not that complicated, but if you're not a programmer, it may take a bit of time to explain. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to do that right here. However, I will. I have made uh, nine examples right here. Oh, I am survival, of course, uh, of different settings. So this one has. Well, I should probably go into creative for this. This one has all interaction enabled on all slots. Actually, I should probably. Well, okay. I'm not going to do that. But uh, you have uh, on the top slots, uh, top row of signs, you present weapon, then helmet, chest plates, leggings, and boots. So yeah, basically then weapon, and then from there on it's just top to bottom. So here you have all interaction is still enabled. Uh, on this second one, you have some other stuff. Everything is non-removable. For example, I can't take this armor out. I can't take the armor uh, the weapon out either. In this case, a command block. Um, over here we have some other stuff, but I guess I should just show some random examples. Uh, for example, here. Um, that is the chest plate, which is not removable and not replaceable. However, it should be placeable. So let me quickly try that. So if we put this here, as you see, we can place it. We can't back, take it back out. Though, uh, let me quickly see. And we also can't switch it around anymore. So basically, it's stuck in this position now. Uh, so yeah, watch out. Uh, I will provide a, also. I will provide a clean version of this schematic. Of uh, this uh, setup as a schematic down in the description, in case you're interested. Um, then over here we've got something like, I don't know, no interaction except for the to top two slots, which are not removable, so we can switch it, but we can't take it out. And then in this uh, last one, we just have no interaction whatsoever. We can't take stuff out, we can't take stuff and replace stuff, and we actually can't replace stuff either, but. I can't show that with the setup, unfortunately. Now, uh, this is taking a bit long already, longer than I would want it to, so... Uh, I'm, of course, not going to 
do all of these again in empty edit because it actually took me like 15 minutes to get all of these specific uh to set all the check boxes to the right values for all these different armor sends. But I will I have taken the central one and I will just quickly reconstruct this one. So the central one is going to have uh it's going to be not removable, not replaceable for the hand so the hand slot is going to be not removable, not replaceable. The helmet will be not placeable, not removable, and not replaceable. The chest blade slot will be not removable, not replaceable. Same thing for the legging slots, and the bottom uh, boot slot will only be not removable. Uh, for now, though, we can still do everything we want with it. So, yeah, that's not what we want, of course. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think that's going to be about it. So, yeah, I will see you in a second in MC Edit. So, here we are, back in Minecraft. Uh, not back in Minecraft, we're in MC Edit. What am I saying? Um, so yeah, we've got the armor sense selected right here, you've got the five signs, so let's get on with this. Uh, first of all, something I should have mentioned a second ago, there is a special flag or boolean or checkbox or whatever we want to call it, uh, in this whole disabled slot system in Minecraft, which is the first flag, flag which I just call flag 1, which has the same effect as removing, uh, well, disabling removal of any uh, armor piece and also disabling removal or replaceal of uh, the hand, but I won't show that right here, but in case you want to do that, you can use flag 1. Unfortunately, this also means you can't uh, specifically turn off remove uh, removal of the hand piece, like you can with the other armor pieces. Oh well. Also, uh, there's an option with this filter which disable all, which just uh, does the same as checking all the other checkboxes, so that saves you some clicking, basically. Uh, now, with that out of the way, let's quickly get this example going. I don't think I need, need to explain how the options work, it's pretty straightforward. You just check the ones you want to be have disabled. So for boots, that would be only removal. For leggings, we're gonna, um, chest plates, we're gonna do a removal and replaceal, which actually should be done this way, probably. Um, then over here, no interaction, then not removal, not replaceable, so that would be done like this. Filter. And normally we should be good now, uh, so yeah, I will see you back in Minecraft. So, here we are again, back in Minecraft. Um, yeah, so let's quickly go over the things to show that it actually works. Uh, shoes should be non-removable, but we should be able to switch them out, which is the case. Um, uh, the pants will be non-removable and non-replaceable, so once we place them, we shouldn't be able to change anything about them. So let's place this. That's right, we can't place it, replace it or uh, remove it. Same thing for the chest plate, so let's quickly grab two of those as well. Uh, we can't remove it, we can't replace it, alright. Then for the helmet, there will be no interaction, which means... Well, we can't test placing, unfortunately. We can just... Remove do this and well actually and we also can't remove it. Well actually I guess I could no okay, I'm not gonna change that, never mind. Um so yeah, I think that's oh well actually I forgot one. The uh hand slot. Let's quickly grab a sword. Uh should be not removable, non replaceable. So as you can tell we can't replace it at all. We can't take it out either. So yeah, that's also working. Now with that out of the way, um yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Again, thanks to Gen Daniel Keaton for the suggestion. Uh, I also don't think... Uh, also, to everyone listening, feel free to suggest stuff, of course. I don't get that much filter suggestions. Well, I never really did. Uh, actually, right now I would say I'm getting a fair bit of them. But it's not like I'm like overflowing with the work or anything. So, yeah. it's uh, like These days I primarily do suggestions. Because I don't have that much stuff I really need anymore myself. So, yeah. Um, yeah, if you so if you need something, just suggest it. I, I can't guarantee I will get on the job, but there's a decent chance I will, especially if it's something small, which would save you a lot of time. Uh, and yeah, but out of the way, uh, I will probably get back to some slime stone shortly. Well, or maybe not shortly, I don't know. Also some other redstone I should probably get around to do, which is not in this world, actually. But, uh, yeah, uh, this video is getting too long. It should be less than 10 minutes, so I think I'm just going to wrap it up right about here. 
Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you in another video. Bye!